Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here from the YouTube channel Mav's Outdoor Adventures. In this short video, I have a fresh rainbow trout that was caught in Panguitch Lake, Utah. It grow over these coals when I looked at the glowing embers. It was too tempting not to try. So I set up my stainless steel grill, which is a 304 stainless grill. I set that up and scraped some embers and coals underneath the grill and a little bit of flame and I placed the trout directly on the grill. Now I did grease the grill slightly with a little Wesson cooking oil but other than cleaning the trout I left the trout pretty much intact. A lot of people will remove the skin off the trout or even fillet the trout but when cooked over a campfire and those hot embers I prefer to cook the trout whole but cleaned. This results in the skin getting very crunchy and you can see in the video the skin gets very dark even burned. But the key and after five minutes I flip it over to do the other side for three to five minutes and then I put the trout using a spatula onto my camping plate. The skin being crispy is very easy to peel to the side exposing the tender moist flesh of the trout. So the skin acts sort of as a moisture barrier, keeping the moisture of the trout's delicate flesh inside. After flaking the trout's flesh from one side, I then take and pick up the skeleton bone near the tail and then peel it forward toward the head of the trout and the bones just come right out of the cooked trout meat. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a try. There's nothing like fresh, whole grilled trout over the campfire. If you like the video, please click the blue thumbs up button. And to be advised of new videos added to Mav's Outdoor channel, just click the red subscribe button. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so a couple nights ago, I put a brook trout on the grill over the coals by the fire and it was excellent nice deep pink meat and this one here is a 16 inch rainbow trout but this rainbow trout has a, a nice deep red tone to the flesh not your typical white meated trout that was planted this year so this was probably put in the lake as a three to five inch what they call fingerlings and it's grown up all year or two to become this 16 inch size and so being it had red meat it should be pretty tasty but thanks to Anita I already had a couple chicken cheese tacos she had pre-cooked some Mexican flavored chicken and I brought some taco shells and some cheese so I kind of already had dinner but feeling a little extra hungry especially the smell of this trout on the grill so I thought I'd give it a try About six deer came right out of these trees here about an hour ago. I, my phone was in the truck on the charger.